100 days of hardcore Minecraft. That is a lot. Over 30 hours of in-game time. Now what if I do that but I have no access to trees and any land of any sort? Welcome to 100 days in an ocean-only world inspired by Paul GG and Luke the Notable. My goals for this series is to at least get some netherite armor and also to slay the dragon. That's enough talking, let's jump right into this video. Hmm, day one. Looking around, trying to scan my surroundings. It's a whole lot of emptiness. There are no trees around, no land around. Oh, some nice fish though. We got some tropical fish over here. These guys are pretty cool. Some more tropical fish over there. There's a ravine here too, but uh, I can't really go down there. That's a bit deep. Okay, so I should get to work. I need to find a shipwreck for some wood, I guess. It's a good starting point. After a bit of swimming in one direction, I found one of these pretty soon. We are in an ocean after all. There should be a ton of these lying around. Inside of the chest, I found some leather pants as well as a ton of rotten fish. Flesh. That is going to be helpful for our food supply. Nighttime was coming soon and I wasted a bunch of time trying to like make like a little platform out of sand but I'm kind of dumb because I forgot that sand falls. So wasted my time on a lot of nothing. I then tried to make like an air bubble next to the ship so it'd be a lot easier for me to get this wood. This was proven to be pretty hard though. After a lot of going up and down and swimming for some air, I think I finally got it. Oh come on, can we do this? No, oh I, I just messed up. I did not mean to swim down there. Can we still do this? Please don't die. Oh my goodness, one heart. I almost had to restart this run on the night of day one, but I think we're okay now. On day two, I gathered enough wood to make myself a door, which I could place anywhere and get me some air. We were probably going to be using this door for like the rest of the series. Now I spent day two gathering a lot of wood from the shipwreck because I knew that we were going to need a lot more of it later, especially to craft some tools. So I started off with a wooden pickaxe and I began mining around our area. There was some cobblestone literally right here, so this was perfect. Hey, let's go. Our first achievement is Stone Age. After a little bit, I realized that this wasn't the best way of mining because we don't have any ores. So I went into a nearby ravine, spotted some iron right away. Now it's time to get to work. I got a stone pickaxe now too. Mine some coal over here as well. And I also found an actual cave that wasn't underwater which made mining a lot easier. I ended up mining all the way over to day 4 and now I'm back at home base here to craft a sword as well as a furnace. Once I get this iron smelted I think I'm gonna make a shield and some armor. I'm geared up and ready to go back to that ravine to fight some mobs down there. But first I'm gonna see if I can get some fish because I really need food right now. Um, today I learned that tropical fish is a terrible food source. It doesn't even smelt in the oven, and it only gives me half a bar of food, so, um, that's not very good. I returned to the cave, and no joke, like, three seconds from when I entered the cave, there was just a pile of diamonds right there. I couldn't get it though, because I still have my stone pickaxe, but looking around, there was loot everywhere. I could not wait. I had to start mining. I think I was gonna get some iron and quickly make an iron pickaxe so I can come here and mine everything. Well, from days five to seven, I fought some mobs, as well as craft my iron pickaxe so I could actually mine these diamonds over here. It looked like it was a four vein. That is not bad at all. It's probably more than we need right now on day like five it is, I think. But yeah, just look at this madness, man. We have literally gold right next to lapis, right next to iron. Like this is just completely nuts. There is treasure just everywhere. I came home with all of our loot and I began smelting our iron in the furnace. I made an iron helmet as well as a chest to store some goodies inside of our home base. And when I did that, I kind of messed up our house, but it was pretty easy to clean up. There we go, water's drainer now. I think we're good now. I think one of my next goals is to figure out a way to get a bed. There's not really any string around. Do I have to fight spiders for this? And that is when I remembered that in that mineshaft I saw earlier, there's gotta be some cobwebs in there. This pretty much saved me. Also, just look at this, man. The ore generation, is it like buffed or something in this new 1.17 update, bro? There's coal, iron, and redstone all just next to each other. This is making my job so much easier. And on the morning of day 9, I noticed this huge hole. I don't think that was there earlier. I think all that sand must have fallen down when I like broke a hole in my house. It's kind of funny. Well, anyway, I think today's the day where I'm actually going to start building like an above water base. Let's get a platform going on up here. I converted most of the platform into some slabs and now I got a chest. I moved everything up here. Time to just dump everything in here and get a clean inventory. I only needed one more piece of string and there were no cobwebs left so I had to fight this guy. And now we had more than four pieces of string. That is perfect. Let's get out of here. If I can get out of here that is. Jeez, I was stuck there for a second. After a good night's sleep, I began more expansion of the platform that I was currently living on. I'm probably going to try to make this thing look a lot nicer later but cobblestone is the only thing that we have right now so I don't really got a choice. Later, I just grabbed my boat and I began swimming out to see if I could find another shipwreck or something to get some more loot from. 
this was a bit far but i do know my coordinates and my general direction so i think i should be okay oh wow look at these dolphins man these guys are fast and i also have a potion effect it's called dolphins grace i don't know what that does but anyway let's go back to this uh red nether pearl here um we got a chest with some nice fortune three golden shovel whoa i'm getting hurt whoa i forgot i forgot my air for a second man i'm just gonna go in and grab everything and then i'll take a look at it so it looks like we got a sweeping edge three golden sword that is that is pretty nice along with some flint and steel and i see that gold block right there we're gonna mine that all right so i'm a bit hungry i think i'm just gonna eat this suspicious stew let's see what happens oh that's weakness okay that's not bad at all i thought i was gonna get like nausea or something also there's a shipwreck like right next to this thing let's head over there right now i think this shipwreck is like a jungle styled one in the chest there were some weird loot not very good i was gonna grab the whole chest and take it with me it'll probably be a lot easier yeah but at least there's a bunch of logs over here that i can get i think i'm gonna gather all these jungle logs it's good to have some variety now back at home i put a lot of my stuff in the chest but now that we have potatoes i think we can start a farm now the problem is just getting dirt though but there was some dirt on the side of the ravine that i always go to so that was pretty easy to obtain i spent this day basically setting up a farm for myself to plant my potatoes now hopefully we can actually have a good food source while I'm waiting for my food to grow, I went back down into the mine to try to mine some more and fight some mobs. For the next couple of days, I'm also going to be gathering a ton of stone because I want to start building like a platform as well so that we can actually have like an established base set up. When I came back, I made myself a stone cutter. We got our iron smelted in this furnace right here. We got a ton of it. I think I'm going to be using a lot of like black stone or not black stone, deep slate in this in this build because I don't know, the deep slate brick slabs look pretty cool. I might have to use some of these. I'm just going to go with it now. Um, Hopefully I don't regret it because I just used all of my deep slate so i found this like generally flat area that's kind of near our old little house over there uh, i think i'm going to start building this thing in this area not sure if i want it on the water or if i want it elevated though so i've got this like circle design right now and i did elevate it like two blocks or so above the water i think it might look a bit better with like some pillars coming down but these colors look perfect man i gotta use these in some other builds that i make bro the, the black on gray that's pretty cool I kept on working on the base on day 15, but I changed my mind with this deep slate thing. I'm going to have like a layer of normal stone brick slabs here. And then as you can see over there on the top, we'll have some of the deep slate. So it's kind of like a contrasting layer thing. So I got to go back and remove all these deep slate slabs, man. These things take a while to break. Also went and gathered some more dirt for this little section over here. I think we're going to turn this into like a farm area, maybe on both sides. And also I'm having water reach these farms by just putting some water blocks underneath those slabs. It looks really cool with the water dripping down like that let's go we got the first harvesting session of the world looks like we got a good amount of potatoes and some carrots as well pretty sick but we can start moving these into the new farm now all right um since we have diamonds i'm going to take three of our diamonds and turn them into a diamond pickaxe let's go mining because we got to fight the ender dragon here so we're definitely gonna have to get geared up fast cannot forget my doors real quick i need my air down here oh i found this really cool water cave and you will not believe what i found toward the end of it i was swimming through i saw some coal and there were some diamonds just right there chilling by this water cave it was a little bit worrying though because there was some lava underneath and i thought i lost my diamonds for a second but we are underwater so it's kind of okay because i think the water just turns the lava automatically into obsidian anyway this turned out to be a nice five vein of diamonds day 17 time to gather some obsidian this is going to be great fun and uh, i didn't really know how much obsidian to get so i just got like this whole patch and it was 13 Bruh. no i lost that piece okay never mind i guess we're getting 12 pieces of obsidian all right we're back from all that mining and i got a ton of good loot again i also ended up just getting 16 obsidian in total because i forgot how much i need i really don't want to do the math right now i think i need is it 10 for the portal i don't know if it's 10 or 12 i'm also gonna need like four or so for the enchantment table well we don't have leather so time to kill some spiders because i think we can fish out leather we need some string though yeah, for the next two days, I just sat down and fished. I listened to some music with my headphones. It was quite a relaxing time. The fish weren't biting as often as I hoped, but at least I was having fun. And once my fishing rod was gone, I never managed to get any, like, junk or anything. I'm pretty sure leather counts in the junk category. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a tough time trying to catch some leather. There's gotta be a better way of me doing this. So I kinda sat there and I was just stuck. I was not sure what to do. But then I was saved by the Minecraft wiki. I looked up any other ways of obtaining books and it turns out you can actually get them from a shipwreck there's a 34 percent chance boys and girls it's time to go shipwreck hunting all right first shipwreck spotted let's go check out what we got inside of this first one dude where is the chest i can't really oh there it is okay let's see what we got here oh yes we got books let's go on our first shipwreck now we got five which is gonna be enough for our enchantment table but i think i'm gonna try to go out and find maybe a couple more see if we can get some more books because we're gonna need bookshelves if we want our enchantments to be a bit better now in this second shipwreck there were actually two chests now 
Now, I swear there was only one in shipwrecks. I did not know you could actually find two. Anyway, first chest was an absolute dud. There was nothing in there. And inside of this second chest, it was just full of iron. So yeah, this whole shipwreck, nothing good in here that we really needed. I just decided to head home because I was getting pretty far. But anyways, I made two chests here because yeah, things are getting really full in the first one. I do have five books though, which means I should be able to make only one bookshelf. And then I'll still have enough left over to make myself my enchantment table. Let's just craft it over here. Never remember the recipe in this game. All right, uh, I think I'm just gonna set it down here somewhere for now because I just want to get rid of my levels right now. Hmm, what can we enchant? I think maybe we'll start off with our diamond pickaxe. I'll wait till I get diamond armor to do the armor. All right, anyway, we got efficiency one here. I think I'm just gonna take that just nice and simple. Now, I think I'm gonna craft a diamond sword and then enchant that as well. Now, knock back on... Yeah, I'm just gonna go with sharpness, just simple. Sharpness is all we really need since we only have one bookshelf here. Probably won't be getting anything better. After all that enchanting, we have a lot of good gear so early on, so I think I'm gonna spend some time doing some more building. I'm gonna try to farm a lot more deep slate so then I can eventually fill out this entire platform. All right, and after a bit, I'm just moving my stuff slowly from like base to base. Anyway, here's what it's looking like. We have a lot of stuff flat. We have two farms on either side and I just kind of plopped all my stuff down right here because I don't really know. I don't really have like a definitive place to put all my stuff. So I'm just plopping it down. And yeah, I'm planning on expanding this stuff. Like as you can see, there's some pathways going out on all four sides of this. So I guess we can have a lot more space if we need. Right now, we don't really need that much space so I'm not really worrying about it. I also spent a lot of my time transferring my items from base to base, as well as kind of sorting them over there. I'm going to have one chest for like building blocks, another chest for like valuable items, and then I'll have a chest just for some random items that I don't really have sorted. And on day 27, I had all of our crop fields basically full, and our food source was actually looking really good now. I don't think I ought to worry about food anymore. I've got potatoes cooking, and I've got cod cooking. We eating good tonight. I also went back to my old base and cleared it completely out, because I do not want like a slab of cobblestone just floating in the ocean. That looks kind of ugly. So I want to get into the nether now, but first, I had to smelt some cobble because I need to make some smooth stone for this pathway. I decided I do not want the nether portal like on the same island thingy as my main one, so I'm going to kind of build it outwards and kind of create like an extension that way it's not too close to our main base. And so that night I constructed our nether portal. It's kind of off center, but I don't really know how to fix that because I made my path like five blocks wide. It's whatever. Probably gonna end up moving it anyway, but let's hop inside. We need to go deeper, alrighty. So it looks like we have a pretty safe spawn. Kind of just in like a nether ravine looking thing. Whoa, big drop down there. All right, this is a pretty nice spawn. There's not many mobs around here. So I started digging a tunnel to get out of this like nether cave and quickly found a warped forest, I think. I, I don't know. Oh, this is a crimson. This is a crimson forest. Um, but yeah, there were some hoglins around. Pretty dangerous. Um, I was not sure really what to do. I think I'm just gonna grab some of this wood and just leave. Because I feel like I might need some better gear before I start to mess with these guys. So I headed down into the mines to try to find some more diamonds. I don't really need any other ore. I have a ton of iron. I don't need gold. I don't need redstone. I don't really need anything else. And I've got a ton of lapis. So I'm kind of just solely looking for diamonds right now. Well, I was strip mining to find diamonds and I came across this really empty looking mineshaft thing, which probably means that there's a mineshaft nearby. And I heard some lava, so I started mining this way. And look at this, man. We've got redstone. We've got lapis. Hopefully we can find some diamonds around here. And soon I actually did find diamonds in like another mineshaft area. But first in this chest, there were some glow berries i've i've never heard of that that must be part of the 1.17 update i just don't know about it name tags as well pretty nice but these diamonds is what we are looking for and it's only a three vein i was kind of hoping for some more we're not really getting many big veins of diamonds right now and once i headed home i only managed to get three diamonds in total which is a bit sad but it's all right we'll go down there and we'll get a lot more later so i could make a helmet right now if i wanted to but i think i'm just gonna wait till i get some more diamonds first yeah i'm just gonna dump all of my stuff back put these glow berries in here but right now we also need to get some books because right now one bookshelf is not enough at all for any decent enchants but that's gonna be pretty difficult because like the only way that we can get books or leather is either to fish or to go shipwreck hunting so that day i went out and tried to explore and find some more shipwrecks good thing that they are super common in this ocean only world the first shipwreck i found did not have any books in it just a bunch of food and moss blocks i got attacked by a puffer fish on my way to my second shipwreck that wasn't very good but also in this shipwreck we had no luck the first chest just had some paper and the second chest just had feathers and paper as well. Jeez, we really need to figure out a better way of getting leather. So on day 33, I crafted a fresh new fishing rod and I spent this entire day just trying to fish for some leather. If you guys have any ideas on how I can get some leather, please comment it down below because I am struggling here. Toward the end of the day though, I did manage to fish up two pieces of leather, which was nice, but it took a long time and it was really boring. 
Now guys, that is going to conclude the first episode of The Ocean Only World. Now this 100 days is going to be kind of like a trilogy. There's going to be three episodes going to be released about a week or a little, maybe a little bit under a week apart. So expect the next two coming out very soon. Now make sure you go down below and tell me how you feel about this video. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. And thank you for sticking all the way through to the end of the video. And since you've made it this far in the video, comment down Ocean Only Gang. And I'll be sure to heart your comment as well as leave a reply. As well as a chance to be featured in the next video as a comment and shout out yes ladies and gentlemen we are bringing those back well that is all i had to say i hope all of you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you guys next time